we're lucky to live in a place like Melbourne. You know, we have options out there. We have such an awesome amount of chefs out there creating brilliant things. If I can make a chocolate that I can present to someone and it blows their mind, that's super exciting for me. When we started Bird Snake, I wanted to, yeah, I guess show people that cacao can be so different and interesting from farm to farm. And even, you know, in the same country, within the same region, you can have chocolates that taste completely different. I think when cacao is roasted a lot lighter, you, similar to coffee, you do get a lot of interesting fruity notes and just interesting characteristics that you'd normally uh, lose in the roasting process. And I really wanted to show that it could be like wine and it could be like specialty coffee if it's, you know, just treated with the same respect. One of the big, biggest issues with cacao is that people have been, I guess, exploiting producers for a long time by paying next to nothing for, for cacao. Our ethos in regards to sourcing is that we like to know exactly where the cacao is from, who made it, how much they were paid, if they were happy with that price and really get into the nitty gritty of sourcing. And I think that's just the way that things have to be done.